everybody welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing an old navy dresses try on haul plus i have two random dresses that i got from lord and taylor i recently did a clothing haul at old navy and i love the pieces but a lot of the pieces were out of stock so i ended up checking the website a couple days later and placing another order to try out some of the dresses that i wanted to try originally that just were out of stock so i got them in and i figured i would just show you them so if you're interested just keep on watching and i will let you know about these pieces and the fit and if I recommend you trying them out or not and everybody's body shape and preferences for clothing are different so I try to tell you why I like it and why I don't like it and then you can make your own decision if the pieces would be right for you. So we will jump into this first piece. So up first we have this long maxi dress. I got this in a 2x and again I'm going to link everything down below with the color that I chose and the size that I got just so you can kind of gauge what it looks like on me versus what you should get. It's this really pretty lilac color, but I'm kind of bummed because up close you can see like little maroon and little purple flowers. I wish it was a different color that they chose. Like if this was a light pink dress, I think it would be perfect for me for the spring. I'm just not a fan of maroon or purple, so I will be returning this. However, this is so comfortable and it's so girly and pretty and flirty and I think it would be absolutely amazing for spring. I love the feel of it so comfortable i love the sleeve and the top i think this is like a really flattering silhouette that would look great on a lot of different people it'll give you some shape because it's stretchy right here it has a really cute flouncy bottom and it does have pockets so i think it's a really flattering and cute dress i'm 100 like i said gonna see if they have this in other colors that way i can actually own this one too up next is this really cute and sweet mini dress and it's tiered so it has multiple levels it has an eyelet fabric that's really pretty square neckline a balloon sleeve that's not too tight but it's still a short dress it's so so cute and sweet so i love this one the material is super comfortable this one again has pockets it reminds me of a cute little summer dress so this is the type of thing that i thrive in during the summer it's simple it's still cute it's a little bit interesting because of the sleeve it gives me a really nice silhouette so i love how it looks it's kind of like the short version of the last dress that i showed you the only difference is there's no band right here and it doesn't have a little tie still super comfortable and you could probably wear this off the shoulder when you have these like square necklines and the sleeves aren't super long you can get away with making it kind of like an off the shoulder sort of top so it gives you a little bit more diversity in how you wear the piece so this one is in black and I did get it in two other colors. I got it in a creamy color and then I got it in like a plaid color, which I'll show you. <laughs> so this is what the dress looks like in the cream color. It is so beautiful. This cream color also has the little eyelet detail on all of the fabric. This one is also tiered. So it has a tier here and then a tier here. It has pockets, again, square neckline. The square neckline is also ruched. It has some smocking going around the entirety of it. So it is super comfortable and super stretchy. This is one of those perfect spring and summer dresses. It's so crazy because we're still in winter. However, with how the world is going and how hard it is to find good quality clothes, I'm starting now. So this dress is very sweet, very cute, and I will put it to good use this summer. So this is what the dress looks like in this plaid gingham print. So my only issue with Old Navy that I find consistently is that when you're looking online, I feel like the online image of the pieces is way different than in person. I feel like the colors are way different. If they showed a swatch of the fabric or just a close-up picture of what the colors truly looked like, I think that would really help me in picking out pieces that are perfect for me because it's really hard to tell what kind of fabric they're using. Even though they list the contents of the fabric, like cotton or polyester, it's still hard to tell what kind of fabric you're getting from the images that they use. So this one, I thought it was going to be a lot different i didn't realize there was this green detailing around the top i am not a green person so i will not be keeping this and also the gingham print is it's hard to tell on camera but it's purple and orange and yellow it's a very odd choice of fabric in my opinion it's definitely cute but not for me if that makes sense i can see somebody who loves colors and pastels genuinely enjoying this the cut is the same as the others except the fabric is different i feel like that fabric is softer and more comfortable and this one is a little bit more of a cotton material it's still comfortable it's just different this next dress does not fit me at all so i'm only going to show it for a split second it is a long maxi dress 
with kind of like lace detailing. It has buttons going down the front, a slight balloon sleeve. It's that cotton material that the two mini dresses were from the beginning and it's a light pink color. I don't know, it just, I'm curvy and the pockets are at the widest portion of my body. So it's really giving me an interesting shape and it's a little bit too tight in my midsection. So if you're super curvy, this dress probably isn't for you because it's not particularly comfortable for me. And I don't think it's that flattering. It's a little bit too big in the top and a little bit too small in the bottom. So kind of matronly, not my favorite, but could work for somebody. Up next, I have three dresses that I got in different colors. So this is the white version. It is a maxi tiered dress with a little puff sleeve. And this is why I originally placed the order. I wanted this in my other order for Old Navy, but it was out of stock. So I got it now and look at the back. That is so cute. This is one of the dresses that will be my go-to for spring and summer. It's super light and airy. It's very breathable. I love the fabric. Super, super comfortable. And I think it looks cute and dreamy. It does have the hanger strings on the sleeve, so I'm trying to hide them, but it's hard. I'm going to have to cut those out because I never use those anyway. So if you see those, my bad. But this is super cute, super flattering. I love the back. I don't have any dresses that have like a sweet little bow in the back, so I think that's special. I love the tiered fit of this. It is a midi, so it doesn't go all the way down to the floor. I kind of wish it was either a little bit shorter or a little bit longer because of my height. It kind of hits me at a slightly awkward kind of height. I'm 5'4 to 5'5. That's the only thing I don't love about this dress. Other than that, I love the v-neck. I think it's super flattering on me, and this is perfect for when I go shopping or go on date nights or brunches or literally just going out and about i love these when i'm just hanging out because they're super comfortable and flowy so these kind of dresses are perfect for me and that's why i'm starting to find them now while they're still in stock i just realized i had foundation in my lip gloss that entire time so i really hope you guys didn't see that i hate when i look at that oh my goodness so if you're looking at that i'm so sorry but i reapplied my lip gloss and this is the dress in the pink shade so it's looking really neon on camera i would say it's more of a bright pink and not necessarily a neon in person again the fit is the exact same as in the other dresses so completely the same it also has that little bow in the back but yeah, I think this is a really fun color. I'm not certain that this is a color for me. I'm gonna have to keep it on for a little bit and see how I feel about it and then decide if I'm honestly going to get the wear out of it. I know for like the white and black dresses, I will wear them so, so many times throughout the seasons. So I'm definitely getting a really good price per use. But then a color like this, if I only wear it once, I don't really justify the price of a dress if I'm only wearing it once and it's kind of wasteful. So I'm gonna have to really think about this. I do like that it is a color though. So I am considering going on like Princess Polly or Misguided and Boohoo to find some really fun kind of like hot girl summer dresses. I don't want anything like super conservative. I kind of just want fun dresses, not like party dresses, but you know, just like cute ones that are different than these. I feel like these are a little bit more conservative and cute and they have their place but i want like a couple of like actually going out tops and dresses you know something kind of sassy but this is cute and i will show you what it looks like in black so here's what the dress looks like in black it is so pretty the only issue that i saw was the dress has like a rip right up here so i'm gonna have to return this and get a new one that is kind of disappointing which makes me wonder how well the other ones are gonna hold up for multiple uses. So I'm gonna have to look over those really good and see if this was just a fluke with the stitching and maybe I'll get another one. I have Buddy's dog hair on here somehow. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get another one of these and see if it has any better stitching. I wonder if I could just fix this myself. However, I do really love the dress and everywhere else the stitches seem pretty sturdy. So I think I just got a fluke piece. But other than that, super cute, again, with the bow in the back. One of my favorite silhouettes and styles. I think it complements my shape, and I think it's really, really comfortable. So 100% going to reorder this one and then think on the other one if I need that color. So up next, I have a white tiered mini dress. This is just a classic t-shirt dress, but it has a little bit of a twist because it has the tiering. I think that makes dresses a lot more flattering on me. 
when they have kind of like a tiered silhouette rather than something that's just strictly A-line. That's just my personal preference because it gives me a little bit of shape up at the top. This one is super casual as you can see because it literally has like a t-shirt top. Crew neck, not a v-neck. This is one of my favorite things to wear when I'm just being super casual in the summer. I want breathability. I don't want heavy fabrics because this is cottony. This is one of those perfect like easy outfits for me to wear. I've talked about it here before on my channel in the past. I love pairing t-shirt dresses that are mini for the summer with just some sandals. And you can dress it up if you wear like a purse with it or you can just have it super casual to hang out in. It's just super breathable and that is the main reason why I love them in the spring and summer. So here is the same dress in black. Super cute, super frilly. I love how it kind of ruffles at the bottom because it's like a billowy dress. Again, this is one of my favorite pieces. I'm glad I picked it up in black as well. It's gonna be super easy to style or just wear very simply. And it does kind of dip a little bit lower in the back, which I prefer, so I don't have to worry about my butt showing at all. So let me see if I can show you that. It kind of dips a little bit lower here than it does in the front. So it's just a super simple dress to wear. Don't even have to think about the outfit. Okay, this last dress is kind of a disaster. So I was trying to look for a wedding guest dress and it's for a formal wedding. This dress is way too long. I'm stepping all over the bottom of it. It's supposed to have a slit right here as well, but it's just so much in the middle. It's the weirdest thing. Super, super low cut. I do like this part though. There's three little pearls to give you that billowy sleeve effect. This dress is going back. The other one, I was gonna show you, but there's like dog hair all over it and it's not my dog's hair, it's, so it's grossing me out. I don't even wanna try that one on. This one had dog hair on it too, but I wanted to at least give it a shot. Like this had potential. If this was like five inches shorter, was a tiny bit less V cut, and if the sleeves went in a teeny bit more, this would be the perfect dress for me. But too many problems, I don't wanna deal with them. All right, you guys, that is it. This is the end of the haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do a haul with those kind of like hot girl summer pieces that I want to try. I just want to get something a little bit more fun, kind of like this, but not formal. So let me know if you guys would like a video on that. I really enjoyed some of the pieces I got. Again, I'm going to link everything down below and tell you what size I got it in because I'm so bad at remembering what size I got because I get, you know, different sizes for different dresses based on the fit. But... That's all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.